Hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. This is the start of the Cornwall vlog one. This is the start of the Cornwall vlogs vlog number one. It's Saturday the 6th of April and we are off to Cornwall for the week. Yes we are. It is currently it's quarter to seven. We're going to have a lovely lovely time in Cornwall and I thought I would take you along with us. Cornwall beautiful beautiful place and Ives beautiful place I last went you're probably talking about 25 actually more than that more than 25 years ago was the last time clean I went sea. clean sea so I'm looking forward to showing Atticus and Ives sat nav is telling us the journey is going to take five hours 15 minutes about yes it is sakes. it's the longest without any wrong turnings it's the longest journey I have ever drove L in my life uh it's an adventure it's an adventure. The car is loaded up. As you can very um, much see. So, shall we go to Cornwall, Atticus? Yeah, I can already smell the sea air. Let's go. So, so we are four hours away, still a long time. We're in Worcestershire, near Worcester. We have stopped. Um, to be honest, I wanted a coffee and a wee probably an hour ago, but I plodded on. I wanted to make I'll a lot of progress. Me. Yeah, you've done really well, Atticus. And we have made progress because we now have been driving for two hours. We've got three hours, 16. Well, hour and a half from Cardiff. Tell them, Atticus, because you clever boy and you know your roads. Tell them where we've drove through so far or drove, you Worcestershire, know. Worcestershire, Gloucestershire, Warwickshire, the Cotswolds. Part of the Cotswolds. Stratford upon Avon, Warwick. all the places we've been. Warwick, a wee coffee, then back on the road. So we have stopped again. Um, I could have actually carried on um, and not stopped, stopped yet, but Atticus is super hungry, you. aren't you? Yeah. So we've stopped at Torton. 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 We have only we've got all the twos, two hours, 22 minutes to go. So we're halfway. And also what we're doing to pass the time, and it's really working as well, we're having 15 so, to 20 minutes of a certain artist then we're changing artists so, so we've we had all the good ones we've had michael jackson michael jackson madonna whitney Win houston no we're doing more madonna because we only got we're doing five more minutes madonna. We when we get back in the car we're on rita aura we're having a and rita aura 20 do, minutes no we're on beyonce so. oh sorry we're on beyonce at the minute then, then we're, we're having rita aura then we're gonna have the rest of madonna yes yeah, it's, it's really passing the time really then we just then we'll do probably one Playing more some goodies we'll, So, update, you would have seen, we're in Cornwall, yes, we are currently, we are now 57 minutes away from St Ives, so we have stopped for our last stop, so we would have stopped three times, um, this is our last stop and it's Cornwall Services, so, it's massive, so it's Cornwall Gateway Services or something, it is massive, I want no more coffee, I want a big mug of tea. I'm very peckish, I'm thinking of Greg's. I said Atticus can have what he wants. Um, and then I'm gonna top up the car with petrol. Do you know Shell? what? Yeah, Shell, the car has done so well. 
it's still got actually it's got enough petrol to get us to um actually st ives i'm going to top it up so we've got enough to get to st michael's, um, mountain, st. michael's mountain land's end later on in the week good boy ain't you this journey he's done so well he hasn't shut his eyes once he was up at like just gone half was it just gone half three yeah i think he hasn't shut his eyes once i said we'll sleep well tonight so it's now 10 past one do you know what we can't even um check in to our apartment till four so do you know what we've got so much time let's go and do what we need to do atticus because we're on a home run 58 minutes to go that's what is a home run it's a long journey it is a long journey. It's the, I'll tell you what, the journey hasn't been as bad as I thought. Hardly it's any as traffic. As long as I go to school. The it, is, it is a long journey. I mean, there's no getting away from that. It's an incredibly long journey. Um, but traffic wise, it's been great. But then that would be because. I see um, a new bottle of water. That would be. Yeah, that would be because we left so early. Um, so. Gone for a quick snack because I think we're gonna have fish and chips tonight. So I've gone for something I've wanted to try for ages: the cheese and honey mustard toasted sandwich, cup of tea, bottle of water. Atticus has got his first McDonald's. How long has it been, Atticus? Since you had a three months. You are here. And where's St. Ives, Atticus? Uh, point to it. We just have to follow this road, basically. We've got to go all the way from there down there. How long have we got left? Forty odd minutes, I think. No, 40 odd miles. Oh, 40 odd miles, yeah. Minutes yeah. To an hour. Then obviously, so there's St. Ives. There's and St. then there's St. Michael's Mount. Then and then Land's End. And then Land's End is all down there. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> day two. Day two, but our proper full day. Yesterday was all about travel, as you would have seen. And very, very briefly, yesterday. Um, so we got to St Ives and I'd pre-booked a parking space, which was all good. At the rugby club. It was at St Ives Rugby Club, right, which 16 minutes walk, which is fine. That's nothing. But... The rain yesterday when we arrived in St Ives was like on and off, but when yeah. it was on, it was torrential rain. It was that really horrible where you get soaking wet rain. Okay, so we had a lot of luggage. I had a big case, another bag, my handbag, shopping bags with food in. And if we'd have walked it, I'd have had to have a, a little suitcase and my rucksack. And my rucksack was quite heavy. Yeah, Atticus had his rucksack in another case. Okay. So I thought... All and these I had hills. A big bottle of water, did I? You did. I'd forgot how hilly St Ives was. Because you haven't been I, for 25 years. Because I've been for 25 years. I'd literally, I'd forgot. Age. Yeah, show my age. I'd forgot how hilly it was anyway. So I thought, right, no. What I'm going to do is book a taxi. Booked a taxi from our car, and it was so lucky. It was so lucky, right? Because. Um, the taxi company that I phoned, I phoned him, I said, can we have a taxi from the rugby club to where we're staying? And he said, actually, he said, one of my taxi drivers is at the gym up there. Um, um, if he can get out and come and get you, he'll only be like literally one minute, literally before you know it, this taxi just pulls up. He'd come out the gym to bring his blessing. Um, so that was all good. Anyway, so he dropped us outside. We all got absolutely soaking wet because we had like, we're standing in like a loft apartment. And so we had to go down this alley. It was an alley stairs to go up. Anyway, by the time, obviously I'd been driving literally all day. Um, I'd been up at three. By the time I'd packed everything away, got sorted. I'll be honest, I just wanted to get food and I wanted to chill. And I thought, I'm gonna just chill. I'm gonna leave the camera for last <coughs> night 
just go and have a meal so we went for a meal at the weather spoons which is literally outside just literally outside that was lovely i had a chicken tikka masala you had fish and chips yeah then we went for a lovely walk down to the front um watched the sea for ages didn't we explored yeah. some little streets um so that was last night so today is sunday Yay. um i will do you a little tour of our little loft apartment it's so cute in the plan today i i feel it's about half past nine now we slept good i got up about i got up about seven it started raining again i got up about seven atticus you needed your sleep didn't you half so bad eight. that half a state which is all good we slept really well bed's comfy bed's um, really comfy bed's really comfy so the plan for today the plan for today is we're, we not, are, we're gonna go on the beach tomorrow because that's no rain tomorrow in St Ives. yeah the plan for today is we are just going to explore St Ives um they do forecast rain again today um which you know what it is normal isn't it um so we are going to explore st ives we're going to explore all the little streets we're going to go down I to the harbour that's because ain't got dressed yet but it'll do that in a minute I've got nice pajamas. you've got a nice little lounge set on there um so yeah the plan is to explore so i'll take you along with us um and yeah just have a lovely day in st ives Yay! i'm gonna have a nice cornish pasty later i want to find a nice coffee shop when we were walking around last night there was like lots of little coffee and there was a coffee shop it was called coffee and ice cream and it was actually open wasn't it but there's also another um, one i've seen near the amusement yeah there's absolutely low so um gorgeous place nice seaside place I've you love it don't you yeah. you absolutely love yeah. it um so yeah who wants a little um it's called upper loft apartment Tom. but you're here um so this is like the front door so outside which i'll show in a second we've got like a roof terrace little garden area which is really nice so we come in here um kitchen got absolutely everything we need um little like breakfast bar here um absolutely everything washing machine if i show you out here you can see you've got this little roof terrace here which is nice then we go through here it's all our coats up there then the first left here is a nice bathroom shower was nice this morning everything we need in there and we come in here this is my favorite Hello. room it's so cute there's atticus got nice i like the potential yeah i do i absolutely love that got a nice sofa obviously telly on the wall there i love this absolutely love this um just my style love that um down here we've got i love this we've got a little window seat yeah look so you can just because there's like a spot that you that's can right that's right you love it's it don't you atticus he yeah. absolutely loves it um and then if you look out here we're so lucky we've literally got a co-op co right outside the, the co there's another co-op there's another one up it's there quite a big one up we there. went there last night and got all our like supplies a, didn't there's we there's a really big one up there yeah it's a really big one up there so that's so handy and then if i show you there you've got a fish restaurant there and then i don't know if you can see the weather spoons is just there um so do a little overview there's and then there. upstairs got a little storage room which i love yeah i love this so it's like a shelf halfway up the stairs it's really cute but so handy if i come up here you'll be able to see it better i think it's so handy for the cases and everything to go up there then we come in here and we've got the bedroom exactly. so we've got two like skylights oh god i'll tell you about that in a minute um so we've got the two skylights you see really look look you've got hills at each end look at that side here. i know i you've know got hill one yeah look side. There's seagulls are side. got another one that side the seagulls are so noisy we're, no, oh we're, my god they're so right noisy middle, we? Right we are literally right in the middle of st ives we're like yeah. literally two minutes from the beach um haven't made the bed yet just i mean we're in the middle of the hills yeah we are we are darling yeah so all our clothes storage here it's so cute um That's our and bed. yeah two oh, little on this side you're that side darling <laughs> two little tables for? anyway this morning i was getting ready and as you can see <laughs> there's like beams like low bits I'm being everywhere being careful of this one. and i warned atticus about this uh, one here when I he haven't my head you around. haven't you're very aware of that when he gets up i said just be really careful when you get up anyway me i was getting some stuff out of here this morning i got up Oh my god, Atticus heard the bang. You heard the bang, I did didn't a you? Impression. He heard the bang, I me knocking my head. Atticus, what did I do? <sighs> 
he it heard. Made the, it made the he heard. Bang ever. He heard the bang. He just looked up and like. I went, um, I went to see if you were okay and I got you a bottle of you water. You did, he was so good. He went downstairs, got me a bottle of water. I sort of had to sit and there. I you know? made sure you were all right. Oh, of course you did, darling. You were wonderful. And you know when you really hurt yourself and it really hurts, you sort of have to sit still for a little while. <laughs> so I was down there for like a little while, sort of. Thank God we've got a skull. That's all I can say. Thank um, goodness yeah. the skull protects our brain. Thank goodness. So I'm very aware now of them. Um, yeah. Of all of them? Yeah. They also, there's another one that we have to be really careful. There really is. It's on the stairs. Yeah, you've got to be careful down the really, stairs. If you're really tall and you want to stay here, be careful of them. If you're really stairs. tall. Duck. You, you might have to duck like that. It's a lovely, lovely little apartment. Location, 10 out of 10. Um, facilities, 10 out of 10. Everything you've got here. You've got babies, though. Yeah, I was about to say that. If it's not the sort of place, obviously, to come if you bring. There's a loads of stairs I don't think up if, to the apartment. Yeah, if you bring a toddler or something like that, it's not really because they can't fit stair gates and stuff because of the size of the, um, the bits and that. So, but it's ideal for a couple or you know, like me, single Oi. mum, you know, with one or two children. It's day was a lot. Um, it was a long journey. There's no getting away from it. And I'm flipping proud of myself that I actually done it. And now I've done it once, I'd, I'd come back again and again. Let's explore St Ives, our first day. Let's explore in St Ives, first day in Cornwall. First day in Let's go. into the amusements and they've got like what we used to call it back in the day donkey derby donkey derby um and well, that's called race time and we're gonna have a go but it's a bit different obviously Lord, we used to get like a guy standing behind taking your money and there used to be loads of people play but now it's like me and Atticus can just play against each other This has got his first vanilla Cornish clotted cream ice cream. Wait in it, ask us what you're saying. Creamier, a lot creamier. Yeah. We get a coffee. This looks nice and we can sit out here. What's This candle, the Cornwall candle, smells absolutely amazing. And it's also got one of them, the wicks that like um, crackle. I'm so tempted. Box salt and driftwood. I might before we go back. The shop is everything in it. Well, it is for me blankets over there the whole shop is made up of like individual brands individual like family brands the blankets over there are made from recycled bottles it all of St Ives from here so our cottage flat, it's a cottage flat. is over there. let's get it right. <laughs> there's my finger Ah, oh, yes, right. Our flat is. See that church there? That was the church I showed in the first clip this morning. So it's round about there. Round about there. 
Atticus loves St Ives, doesn't you Atticus? He really loves it. Really lucky with the weather today actually because Look, there's, there's, a, a, oh, yeah. there's a storm going around um, the UK, Storm oh, Kathleen or something. Well, yeah, so considering actually We are going to head back into the I'm going to have a Cornish pasty, I'm just going to have some chips. Is that what you want, darling? Yeah? Whoa! <laughs> it's starting to come in now. Very refreshing, really refreshing. I'm going to have a pasty for lunch, all the different um, flavours, small steak, medium steak, large steak, giant steak, beef and stilton, cheese and bacon, lamb, oh no, I think I'm going to go for a classic small steak today. Me and to shelter from the wind, Atticus has got his massive portion of chips and sauce they're looking good nice and golden to be sheltered in the wind for a little while so what we can do the rest of the day is spend the rest of the day up in the streets St Ives and um, explore up there out of <laughs> we're going old school Atticus told everyone before we came away he was going to send them a postcard so we're going to buy the postcards now it's also a little post office and we're going to get go in a cafe and write them so that one's going to be to Anna up in Manchester. This one's to Nanny. Who's that for? Nanny. That's for Nanny. This is really and sending then we're sending, that oh that's a nice one. And then we're house. sending that back to our house. I've We've got, got stamps. first class stamps with Charles on. Charles on, they're the first ones of yeah. actually. Yeah, first class and then. Because you just don't post letters Charles. nowadays. because he's going to post his postcards. We just wrote, wrote them. Our just bought a brolly. Nice purple one. That's Anna's. Post Anna's. Post Anna's postcard. Nanny's. There goes Nanny's. I wonder how long it'll take to get there. Anna's will take longer because it's fair. Yeah, yeah. Then Atticus has wrote himself one. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday today. Um, last time I picked up the camera, I'm trying to think again. That's it. It was early evening. Um, we were chilling on the sofa, weren't we? Yeah. Um, I started my novel, um, and we stayed in the rest of the night, didn't yeah. we? We had snacks. We just chilled, and it was so nice. Um, so the plan today. <laughs> it's currently. It's twenty past ten. We had. God, I didn't get up till eight, which, as you know, that for me was I didn't get up a super half, long. I got up at half seven. You got I up, got up, up earlier. Yeah, you woke up earlier, um, so that was nice. We feel totally. Well, I, got up at, I got up at seven because I. You woke you, up at seven, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I you woke up, up before me. So the plan today. Now the rain is not. 
It's giving a lot of rain in Cornwall at very the minute. Very much, and our plan was to go to the beach. We were very lucky yesterday, as you would have seen with the weather, because we had a quite a long dry period, so we were able to explore St Ives, and as you would have seen. Um, but today, the rain is meant to stop. The plan today, um, we plan to go to the beach. Obviously not to like sunbathe or sit on the beach for 11. a period of time. It's stopped right, it's meant to stop at 11. And it's okay. past 10. Fingers crossed. Um, our plan is to go on the beach, collect some shells, you know, just spend a bit of time on the beach. I don't think I'll be sitting down on the beach because it, it, the sand's just gonna be soaking wet. But just collect some shells on it and yeah, enjoy doing that. I got this. Yesterday, right. got a new raincoat from so Mountain I Warehouse. Have, I didn't bring one with a hood. No, it's got a raincoat, but it didn't have a hood. Um, so we went in Mountain Warehouse. Really good shop, that. I've never been in there before. You've got a raincoat. I've got a really good umbrella. So I'll be honest, I normally buy like the cheap Primark umbrellas. That's what I normally get. Um, and when we parked the car up the other day, I'd left the umbrella in the car. Of course, I had. Um, so I needed to buy an umbrella. So we went into Fat Face actually, and then he said, "No, we've got none left. Try Mountain Warehouse." So that's because it's Wayne Co. <laughs> like it? Yeah. It's a nice one. It's a really nice one. Um, so yeah, umbrella. Um, so I've got an umbrella. It's down there because it is drying in the tray. So I want to but it's the best umbrella I've ever had. It was a bit pricey for eighteen pounds, but I tell you what, it's going to last me years. It. We took it down to the front, right next to the sea, and I thought, and it was just so windy, so windy. And I thought, any minute now, this umbrella's going to go inside. Out. To buy my shoe, you need I know, to take darling. My shoes from the sand. Yeah, I know. It didn't even start to go inside out. It's the best umbrella, so that's worth you the just, money. You do that, then yeah, you do press a button. the button. Really good outdoor umbrella, obviously outdoor umbrella. Um, so the plan today is so apparently the rain stops at eleven, so we're going to get down to the beach. I'm going to get. Yeah, we're going to have breakfast in a minute. Before we um, go to the beach, I'm going to get a nice coffee. I found a good coffee shop along the front. Yeah, we've changed it around. So in this vlog, you'll see Land's End. And in the next vlog, you'll see St Michael's Man. Yeah. We're doing St Michael's Man on Thursday. So the plan is just hang around St Ives today, um, spend a bit of time on the beach, um, have some nice food. And then tomorrow, Land's it is Land's End, then which is a part. It's only about a half hour yeah. drive. No rain tomorrow. Vlog, isn't it? it is tomorrow will be the last day of the vlog. So there's no rain tomorrow. So we will walk up to the rugby club and get the car. <laughs> We're going to hang around St. Ives today. Hopefully beach, eat some good food. Yeah. Um, but we feel very relaxed. And I fancy you... some fish and chips tonight. Yeah, maybe some fish and chips. You love St. Ives, don't you? He really, really likes it, which I'm really, really pleased about. So yeah. Have breakfast. Monday in St. Ives. Yeah. We've made it out. The rain has stopped, look. It's gone midday, but the rain has stopped, I think, for the rest of the day. So we're gonna head to, um, the shop's called Coffee and Ice Cream Shop. It's windy, it's chilly I'm as well. We are so wrapped ice. up. I'm showing you the directions for the ice cream and coffee. Okay, Atticus, you show. Because you don't know where it is, do you? I saw it the first night. We saw this shop, the coffee and ice cream shop, on the first night when but we you, went for a walk. But you can't remember where it is. I can't remember. It's very windy streets. I didn't see it yesterday, so... Why? Atticus knows the way, so we're trusting Atticus on this one. Nearly lost it yesterday. Yeah. 
got it. You got it. No way. Yeah, you need something on your head if you can. Another fab coffee here. The coffee is so good here. Look, like so creamy milk. and thick. And that's because it's got a little old-fashioned bottle of milk. No way, milk. it lands end. What tomorrow? Because he's just looking at the weather. The rest There's of the time we're here, the wind has really picked up today. I mean, it was windy yesterday, but it has really cold. picked up today. Wind is not so much cold. Depends how you're dressed, I guess. I mean, today I've got a thermal. I've got a thermal vest on. I've got a long sleeve top. I've got this fleece. French. Someone's done the sleep. How much is that? Look at that. that for I can't see on there. That's really good. That's so good. As I was going to St Ives, I'm in a town with seven wives, each one has seven sacks, each sack has seven cats, each cat has seven cats, sacks how many were they going to St Ives? We're trying to work it out, have we? Yeah. <laughs> you know our days and holidays out? Yeah. Days and holidays, I want to spend more time at the coast. Coast, he's loving it. Yeah. You absolutely love it here, don't you? I want to spend more time at the coast, a tiny bit in the city, mostly at the coast and mostly at the coast. The amount of times you've said mostly to me, Mum, can we move here? Mostly in the coast of the country. Yeah. The wind. So we'll get two more opportunities to show you that part of the Atlantic. Yeah. On Wednesday and Friday. But that, unfortunately, you only thought once in this vlog. You're going to have to see it in vlog two. Stay tuned for vlog two. The wind is on another level now. Um, we're going to spend the rest of the day in the little streets. We've just come up here. It has really took it up a notch today to the point we were just going to go down to Smeaton's Pier again. It's too dangerous. So yeah, we're going to hang around the little streets, even though the wind has really picked up around the little streets as well. But yeah, it's lovely. Fresh air, fresh air. It's all that sea air. Just the same, we have found the best kind of chocolate ever. Are you serious? That's just, like the best one ever. Do you know what? I can actually smell the buttery pastry from here. <laughs> Is it literally the best one? You've had them all over and you're saying that's the best one you've ever had. Got for later. Look at this cheese scone. Look at how big this cheese scone is. I'm going to have this with lashings of butter later. Bakery, we just went in was the Cornish Bakery and we just got a load more pastries because a few minutes later they all went down to 75p each so we stocked up on the pony chocolates and I've got the I've biggest got, chocolate I've, twist for breakfast I've got two, I've you've got ever two, seen I've got two, two pony chocolates got a chocolate, chocolate twist for breakfast and I've got my scone tonight yeah. 
We need to remember that. They knock yeah. them down around I'll five. Say we'll go back. Yeah, we'll go back. Uh, the reason them pan is chocolates, Atticus loved them so much. And we've got to go co op, and I could literally smell the butter. They're imported from They France. get them in from France. That's why. <laughs> they were the real deal, Atticus. Yeah. We're going to pop to the co op. We need some more milk. And then we're going to head back for the night. So we will see you tomorrow. And we are going to Land's End. See you tomorrow. Morning. Good morning everyone! <laughs> it is Tuesday. We are currently walking up the hills to get the car because today we are going to Land's End. We're going to spend a few hours at Land's End. We took, like I told you yesterday, we switched it round so the next vlog you'll see St Michael's Mount. That's right. Um, so you would have heard me mention I parked the car 16 minutes away. Up in the road. Up in the rugby club. Um, and whilst on the day that we leave, obviously we're going to have all our luggage. So oh. obviously we will get a taxi. a taxi up to the rugby club. But today, guess what? There's no rain. Look, no rain. It's sunny. <laughs> it's sunny. I mean, it's windy. You've got the yeah. There. It's super windy still this morning. And the wind was so fierce last night, I thought to myself, when I was laying in bed, I thought, oh no, the garden furniture. And when I looked outside, one of the chairs had just flew completely off like the roof garden bit. Managed to find it though and take it back up. Um, so yeah, let's go to Land's End. Oops, I need a coffee. <laughs> Here's the hill that we're walking up. Our flat's right down there. And there's the Atlantic. Lovely day. So nice the rain's stopping now. Oh, we're at the go. Yes. Right, darling. We're going to see what you can see in the distance. Yeah. Ready? Let's go. Right over there. That's like 3,100 miles away. Is the US of A. And don't worry, that is not it. That no, hole. No. That is that hole. Facts for you, go for it. Oh, Hold your cap. <laughs> Ready? So, right over there. Yeah. Well, three, uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Google it. Me with the wind. I hope you can. I need to get one of them wind things for the camera. way to um, Penzance. Going to Epcot. No, yeah, we're just going to drive through Penzance, Atticus wants to cost her. Um, but on the way we saw, here is the first inn in England and the last, the last inn, depending on what direction you're coming. Um, so yeah, the stop is 16.20. are back in St Ives. Land's End was incredible. That was so good. Wow, are we worn out. That that clean air just going into you and that wind so is just clean. It almost caught amazing. Me, but I say the cleanest is Land's End. It was amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, we called in the we called in a Sainsbury's superstore. That was which was and we went across the drive-through. Went across the drive-through for you, didn't we? Stand here, Atticus, I don't want to hold on. Went to across the drive-through for Atticus, he fancied his brownies and milk. We called in a Sainsbury's. There was a Sainsbury's superstore right next to it. Um and I don't go I don't very often go in a big Sainsbury's superstore. Yeah. There, got a couple of bits. We parked the car up back at the rugby club and we are currently walking oh, I say. down the hill walking down someone's left a box of books on their doorstep for people to take if they want one how cool is that lovely idea someone finishes their books and leaves them in a box on their doorstep puts free on it for, to pass on i love that idea <laughs> i might do that to be fair it's the end of cornwall vlog number one um it is now it's about half past five now we are going to head to the Weatherspoons, which is literally dead opposite our flat to get our dinner and then I think we're going to chill for the rest of the night yeah. aren't we Atticus and tomorrow will be the start of a brand new vlog, vlog number two. Um, so look out for that one I hope you've enjoyed vlog number one I hope you're enjoying watching us on our little holiday in Cornwall and we will see you very very soon for vlog number two Bye! Bye.